In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways you can watermark your photographs. The first method I'm going to show you is by using the website watermark.ws, and I'll put the link to this website in the video description down below as well. You will need to log in to the website, but you can either create a free account or you can connect with Facebook or connect with Google. I'm going to simply connect with Facebook. So first, we'll create a folder and we'll upload a photograph. Once the photograph is uploaded, you'll need to click Edit. And then on the left, you'll click the text and enter your watermark text. Choose your font. You may want to choose something a little bit thick and bold. You can adjust the size. We'll drag it down here into place. And then a watermark is usually partially transparent, so you can adjust the opacity. And if you want, you can also rotate the text as well. You can also tile your watermark or just make it a single watermark. And when you click apply, it will process your photo. And if you'd like, you can save that watermark as a template. I'm going to skip it for now. And we'll click Done. And here is your finished image. And we'll download that to our computer by clicking the Download button. And it will typically download to your Downloads folder. Now, Watermark.ws does charge for their services, but they do have a free account that allows up to 10 megabytes of photo storage. Now, since I've downloaded it to my computer, I no longer need to keep it online, so I can simply delete the image by clicking the Delete button on the top right. And by doing that, you may never need to pay for the service, but it does have an affordable service starting at $5 a month if you do a lot of photographs and need to watermark many of them. The next method I'll show you is by using Photoshop. I am using Photoshop CS5. There are newer versions of Photoshop out, and you can subscribe and get the latest version of Photoshop as low as $9.99 a month on Adobe's website. And I'll put the link to that in the description of the video down below as well. To watermark an image in Photoshop, we'll simply select the text button, and we'll choose the color of our text, and I'll set it to white, and I'll choose another heavy, bold font. And depending on the resolution of your image, you may want to turn up the size of your font. So we'll start with setting this at 100 and see how it looks. Next, once the text is in place, I'll right click on the text layer and I'll tell it to rasterize the type. I'll adjust my opacity down a little bit so that it's tr partially transparent as before. If I want, I can go to Edit, Transform, Rotate, and put it at an angle. If I wanted to put this in multiple places, I can simply right-click on the layer and duplicate the layer and move them around as I see fit. Next, we'll go to File. And we can either save it as a particular file type, or I can say save it for web and device, which makes it a little bit smaller of an image for just viewing on a, on a screen. And I can save it as a JPEG or a GIF or a PNG file. The next method I'll show you is by using a free program called Paint.net. I'll put the link on where to download Paint.net in the video description below. It is not at the website www.paint.net. You'll have to use the link that I put in the video description down below. So we'll open the same image file. Paint.net works similar to Photoshop in this manner. So over here on the Layers tab, I'm going to create a new layer first. And I'm going to select my text and select a nice bold font, set it to 100 points, and we'll set our color to white and type our text. Now I may want this a little larger, so I'll change the font size to 150. We'll change to our selection tool. 
we'll double click on our layer and then adjust the opacity. And we'll go to the layer and rotate. And rotate our image around just a little bit. And again, we can duplicate our layer if we want the multiples. And now we can choose to go to File and Save. And save this as a JPEG or any other file type that we prefer. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.